Hi, this is Mimi. Um, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are continuing with our, oh, that's giving us, sorry about that. We're continuing with our September Build a Journal, um, where we build a journal one day at a time throughout the month of September. It's a challenge that I created to make it easier for you, for novices, and even those who have built a million journals, to make it easier. Even if you've built a million journals, join me because it's just so slow paced and nice and easy and you don't really have to think. Like that's how I feel about this. You're not really even thinking, okay? So far, we have chosen our cover, chose our papers for our signature, our extra items, and we have done some things to our pages. That was yesterday's video. We sewed or painted, stamped, stenciled, border punched, Whatever it was you wanted to do to your pages, we did it yesterday. So today we are putting together our signature. Now, what is so important about today? Today is important because um, you need to figure out what kind of journal you're making. I told you to figure that out when you chose your signature papers and all that, but you may not have. You may still be on the fence about how you want to make this journal. There are so many different ways to make a journal. You can do a sewn signature. You can make a ring journal. If you have a cinch or any kind of binding system, you can bind it. You can make a disc bound journal. Do you, did you used to do Happy Planner? Do you have one of those punches and you have all those discs? You can do a disc journal, okay? You can do so many different ways to put together a journal. You can, if you don't have rings, you can use ribbon. You can use twine anyway, but today's the day you got to figure it out. I ran a poll on my community page and I'm going with sewn because that's what people voted on. So I'll be doing a sewn signature journal. So for today, my job is to put all of my little items in order. Here are my pages and my extras. These are my extras I chose and the vellum were my, was my extras. So for today, I'm putting together my signature. I will be doing two signatures in my journal. Um, so since I think I have 16 pages, I'll be doing eight and eight. Easy peasy. Eight and eight, and then this will go in one signature, this will go in the other, and then how many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of these, so I'm just gonna put three and four because I counted wrong, did I not? Oh no, I did, okay, so yeah, seven. So I'm just grabbing, um, but I'm going to switch out, there we go, that's better. There were two greens, two green tones over there and I didn't want that, don't ask me why, but I didn't. So now I'm just gonna go through and um, sort my pages. Now why am I sorting my pages? Because I know that in here I have these three vellum. So I want one, I'm just gonna do it that way. How's that? Let's do it this way, there we go. I have three of these pages, the, the plain, so there we go. And now I have signature. I knew that I had pages that I wanted for the middle of the signature. That's these two pages. These two pages will be for the middle of my signature, so I'm just going to randomly place them. And now I have, let's see, I have one, two, three, four pages over here, and I have one, two, three, four pages over here. So I need four more pages on each. So I'm just going to do this. These, there are two trucks, so one in each one in each, one in each, done. I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about what pages go on where, okay? I just wanted to split them up evenly. Now what I'm gonna th worry about is, here is my center signature. I want this one to be my center because listen, I'm a book reader. This page just freaking calls to me. If I could sit in this room and read, I think I would be happy all day long to sit in this room and read. So this is my middle signature. Then I'm just going to add on, but let's add a doily here. So I'm gonna do my doily in half. 
and we're just going to build on the pages. Um, let's put in one of these. Here we go. Let's fold another doily. Put another doily in. Oh, that is actually two. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Actually, then that gives us, makes us even on both sides, right? So we'll put that one there. There we go. Now we're even on both sides with the amount of doilies. Not that it matters. It doesn't matter. Okay. Then we're going to put this one in. And then I think I'm going to do this one. Remember, I'm using the vellum, if you remember from the other videos, is not counting as a page. I will not be journaling on this vellum. It's just an extra little pretty. That's all. So we're going to do this one. And then let's fold the brown in half. And we'll put the brown right here over this truck. Okay. And then this one here. And then we will use the pink on this one. And then we have this page. Now, you may, may be asking, hey, what about that paper bag up there? Well, the paper bag is going to go somewhere special because October is my birthday month. Because it's my birthday month, every year in my journal, I have added the, like, cards and um, if whatever gift, like if I, if I got, say last year, I believe I got, um, my boyfriend bought me this thing called the So Easy from We Are Makers and it punches and then you, you weave ribbon through. So I put the package in my journal. So I want this page here to go on my birth date. So now we got to count. Can we count? So it would go here. There's already a doily here. That don't matter. We're just going to put this bag in. Okay. So there is signature number one done. I am going to take a clip and clip it together because we don't want it to come apart. Well, it's sitting there. Okay. So the next, now we have all of these and we have these. So let's start with this one here. And you know what? Let's just put, I know it's my first page, but who cares? Let's put a doily there because it's pretty, right? So we're going to put our doily there or maybe not. No, we're not going to put our doily there. I, I, no, we're not. Okay. Where's my middle signature though? Let's find that. Here it is. This is my middle signature of this middle paper of this signature, girl on the bike. And then we're going to take this one. Let's add this pumpkin paper. Oh, and let's add the orange doily. I think this might also be two. Yes. They're so thin. just going to fold that one in half and we're going to add that here because I mean, come on. And then let's take this one. Now remember, this is the one that's cut out on the back. So we're not going to put anything there. Actually, the only thing we might put there is this card. Let's put the card there. Okay. And then we're going to go with this one. There's no rhyme or reason. I just don't want the two vellum pages to be next to each other. That's all. That's about it. Um, let's take, not this one. I don't, why did I pull out white? Somebody tell me why I pulled out white. I don't know. We're just going to use this other orange because I have no idea why I pulled out white. Makes no sense. 
no sense at all. I'm going to put that one here. Then we're going to go with this girl with the... I may switch... Nope. I'm not going to switch it out because the other one's a cutout. Okay. And then we're going to put this truck. Okay. And we're going to fold up this green. Okay. Put this in. And then this. Okay. So there's our second signature. Now, what I want to do is count and make sure I have enough pages. Okay, now I need enough pages. There's 31 days in October and I use two pages per day. So I need to make sure there's enough pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I have fifteen pages here. And we'll hope I have 16 over here. If not, I need to find another page. We'll see. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You know what? We'll use this as a page. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, so I don't have to include that card as a page. It's plenty of pages. Great. So we have the pages. I don't have to include that card as a page which makes me happy. And we are just going to clip these in place so they don't move around. Okay, so that's it. Our two signatures are done, which then we get to prep for tomorrow and tomorrow we will be making our cover. Now, if you have a cover like mine, this is what I'm using for my cover. You're gonna have extra homework tonight. I'm using this as my cover and I'm covering it with fabric and you can see through my fabric. So I need to gesso this. I also need to prep it, which means I have to cut this off and all of this off. So I'm going to um, gesso this cover today so it's dry for tomorrow. If you have the same thing, say you're using an Amazon package and you're going to cover it with fabric. Well, you can easily see the black writing on the Amazon package. Make sure you gesso it or paint it, whatever. If you don't have gesso, just use white paint. Okay? Because um, gesso is not cheap. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's cheaper for you to go buy a little bottle of acrylic white paint from like Walmart than it is to buy gesso. But I do a lot of mixed media, so I have gesso. Okay. So, that is also homework for today. If you need to paint your cover or gesso your cover, please do it because you'll need it for tomorrow. Okay? So, that's it. Put your signatures together. If you are doing a ring bound or a cinch bound and these are all single sheets of paper, just put them in whatever order you want. Make sure you have enough for what you need. If you're doing this for multiple months, then you can have way more pages. If you only do one page a day of your journaling, this could last you two months, this amount of pages. I, we already discussed that in the choose your papers. So you already know all this already, but now just put them in order, clip them together, and you'll be ready to go 
for um, the seventh when we add our signatures to our journal. Okay, so there's your homework. Um, I didn't mention it in the last video, I forgot. Please use the hashtag MP build a journal 2023 across social media platforms. The only one I don't use X or Twitter, or whatever the heck it's called, threads. I don't have a threads. I don't have a Facebook. I use Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. I have opinions about X, Twitter, whatever the heck you want to call it. It's a cesspool and it's full of negativity. So I don't go on there. It's not good for my mental health. Facebook became the same thing. So I don't go on there anymore. Not good for my mental health. So. <laughs> Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, any of those I will be following. MP Build a Journal 2023 as the hashtag so I can see what you're doing and you can watch, see what everybody else is doing. Okay? Comment down below. Let me know what your final decision on your signatures is. What kind of journal are you making? I'm curious to know. And like subscribe. I will see you in the next video when we make our cover. You guys have an amazing rest of your day.